uh, Peter most clearly explains the day of the Lord's second coming as king. And, and what we need is what he tells us to frame our understanding, not of how to survive that day. We will not be in danger on the day of the second coming, but how to live now. Because remember, the people he wrote this to, 2 Peter 3, definitely weren't there at Christ's second coming. That was 2,000 years ago. But the elements of how they were supposed to live are what we're supposed to pick up and what they picked up and they did live. So basically, it's all about avoiding the pitfalls, the pitfalls that Peter tells us of materialism. So what are the, the pitfalls that we should avoid of materialism? And, and basically, Peter tells us five of them in chapter three, starting in verse one. Now remember, Peter is writing at the end of his life, it's for the early church, they thought they were going through the end, fiery trials were coming, and so Peter says, the fiery trials are here, but he said there's something even more dangerous, and it's the glittering allurement of the world, of materialism. And so what he says, number one, is materialism blurs our purpose in life as disciples. So avoid getting blurred in life by materialism away from what you were called to do, against uh, materialism we resist because we were called to be disciples of Christ, those who are making disciples for Jesus Christ. And so he says, live redemptively. Go through life not trying to acquire more material things, but go through life trying to redemptively point more people to Jesus Christ. In fact, one of the greatest delights in life is to know you're taking someone with you to heaven. That means that you have prayed for a lost person, asked the Lord to help you share the gospel with a lost person, share the gospel with a lost person, help them as they reach out to Christ, and then know that they have connected with him and their sins are forgiven. That opportunity is the greatest of all. I mean, there's nothing greater in life than actually taking someone with you to heaven. 